Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? It is your coach, Carla Nicole. Hope you all are doing well and fine. I definitely hope you guys are doing well and fine. So, um, good morning. I just wanted, you know, um, I'm making my guacamole, so I thought I'd give you guys something to think about. Um, I've been talking to a couple of people that I'm coaching right now that's kind of struggling with um, expectations in their love affairs. So let's talk about this because I think a lot of times we don't. I think we, um, we just kind of go in a relationship um, with our past, with our childhood um, knowledge, and also with um, some of our just high hopes that we have when we are wanting to um, build in a relationship. So I think it's imperative that we talk about um, some of the things and some of the ways to which we find ourselves frustrated in relationships. And a lot of times, I believe that the reason we have the, the hardest issues in relationships is because of our expectations what we expect from the other person. Um, and I think that in that expectation, a lot of times um, we're merely hugely <laughs> disappointed because we come into the relationship assuming that um, our mate, someone we want to be with, our interest um, is going to do certain things that we desire them to do. A lot of times we're not really honest with self about what we want and what we expect and what the person is coming to the table with. So I want to talk about this very briefly. It's not going to be a long live. So let's talk about um, just learning our uh, lover, learning uh, about them. What do we, what do we, when we really take our time, what do we come to know? Um, I think sometimes we spend time focusing on what we hope them to be. I think we can also be very um, judgmental of what we are expecting from this lover versus what we had from a past lover. So therefore, those things also impact our expectations here in our heart, mind, and soul for where we are in our relationship. So I want to talk about prime example is the high expectations on the woman's end. I'm going to pick on both of us. So I'm going to talk about the women first. We have a tendency to expect our lover to um, pretty much guess what we want or get the clues or we're like, hey, you know, this is what I want. So I'm pretty sure that you're going to um, deliver because it's what I want, right? And a lot of times we're sadly disappointed when we find out <laughs> that that person can't really deliver exactly what it is we want. So we're very frustrated. We're upset. We're, we start to lose um, our excitement for this person because now they're nowhere near what we expected them to be. And so because of that, we have a tendency to sit back and become frustrated. And we become frustrated because... We have, like I said, expectations and we have not enough knowledge or we haven't allowed ourselves enough time to know or to come to know who they are. And so when we don't know them, we're assuming that they're going to do certain things that maybe we expect because that's what we want them to do. That's not, that's not realistic. Um, one of the things that I think as women uh, what, that will help us benefit in love affairs is to be a realist. Become a realist. Do not spend your time in fantasy or fantasizing about who you think your lover is, who you think they're going to be in your life, how they're going to do certain things. Please, by all means, be present in the present, which means have realistic expectations. 
And why I say these kind of things is because I'm seeing a lot just, just across the board, media, social media, and everywhere. Um, there's high expectations <laughs> out here about what we should have, what we should want, how we should want it, and all kinds of things. But the truth of the matter is, if you're not living in reality within the confines of your own love affair, you're going to find yourself always frustrated because you're going to feel like, you know, this person doesn't really do it for me. They're not doing what they said they're going to do. I thought they were going to do this, but they're not doing this. And so you feel, you feel really not necessarily portrayed, but you feel extreme frustration and disappointment because they're not, they're really not delivering the way you want them to. And so I want for women, and like I said, I'm, I'm picking on you for a second, as your coach, it's all from a loving space. I want you to think about, am I in this relationship? Am I looking at my lover from a realistic standpoint? Or am I expecting my lover that is, we'll just say, is in, we'll just use this as an example. His stature is maybe 5'9", and he weighs about a buck 70. Or, and we think that he's going to develop into a Chris Rock because of our thinking, because of what we see or what we feel in our soul, heart, and mind. We have to be realistic when it comes to our lover. So you have to look at your lover, ladies. You have to look at him realistically. You have to be honest with self. You have to allow yourself to hear. Use your, use your hearing to hear what he's saying. Stop taking what he's saying and then changing it in your mind and playing it around in your head and then thinking it's this when it's really not what he said. You didn't hear him. You thought you heard. So this is one of the things I believe for women, we need to become realist. To do this, you really have to sit down and stop sleeping in a dream world <laughs> while you're awake. I'm going to say that again. Stop sleeping in a dream world while you're awake in your relationship. The man you're with is who he is. Stop having high hopes, high expectations for a man that really most likely won't deliver. And in your heart and mind, you know that, but you keep wanting to deny it because you want what you want. And it's again, it's just not going to be what you want because in our head, everything looks good. In our head, everybody's perfect. In our fantasy, everything's amazing. So in reality, it's never going to add up and you're going to continuously feel frustrated, upset. Learn your lover's shortcomings, ladies. Learn your lover's capacity, ladies. Start to take the time to learn him and allow him to speak without over-talking him. Pay attention to what he's doing. Prime example, ladies, there is body language we're not heeding to. And I saw this very recently. A man was talking. I'm sorry, scratch that. A woman was talking to a man. And he continually, in his body language, was wanting her to stop talking so he could interject something that was important. She dismissed it or she didn't see it. Either way, this is a very huge issue within our love relationships because we as women have a tendency to have no real allowance for the man to speak his truth. Speaking his truth is going to help develop your love affair and, and really empower the intimacy to a higher level. Again, we must as women, please listen to me. Listen to your lover, learn them, and allow them to speak. This is one of the biggest issues that I'm dealing with with women that are clients of mine. I'm trying to help to assist them with this thing right here because this is very often not the case. We're living in fantasy and our man will never, I don't care what you do, your man will never measure up to the image in your head, ever. He'll never measure up. So, so stop, live in the presence and be present in your relationship. And when he says something, allow the words to go inside of your mind, heart, and soul so you can hear it. A lot of times we don't listen. And so when a man is saying something, we just don't hear it. 
And so this is one of the biggest problems in love affairs. I'm telling you now because I'm coaching it now with a lot of my female clients, okay? So please, by all means, understand in order to be really solid in a really good love relationship, you want to pay attention to what your man is saying. And then if he has certain movements in his body that he's wanting to say something or interject something, please pay attention to the nonverbal communication also. We are not paying attention and therefore our men feel as though they cannot hear cannot be honest and this is one of the biggest issues that i'm dealing with in my coaching practice right now with women with my female clients they're really struggling with this because they want to get it out what they want to say and we want to get it out now and we're going to say it and, da -da 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 -da. and the man is like i can't speak i'm fed up with it i'm just not going to say anything and then we get upset when that man doesn't any longer want to talk to us or talk back to us or say what they feel because they feel as though it's dismissed anyway. So why even bother, right? Why even bother? So ladies, I picked on you a little bit, but I wanted to tell you what it is. We need to start to learn our lover, pay attention, allow for them to speak their truth. And now for you gentlemen, good morning. So... <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, what I've come to see with coaching you all <laughs> is the challenge that you feel very frustrated by being in a dis at a disadvantage for not being able to be in your truth. And so a lot of you men um, are in relationships that are not by your design um, in alignment with your truth. So what I mean by that is, gentlemen, you are in a relationship that is not in alignment with your truth. And therefore, you are struggling with the dynamic that you're in and you're having a lot of conflict with your woman because of the fact that you're not honest, not to her, to you. <laughs> this is a big issue for gentlemen. I, trust me, when I'm coaching you men, I know exactly what you're telling me is that I'm in a love affair or in a loving dynamic and I, I love her, yes, but I feel like I can't be all of me because I'm restricted to only being with her or only being in this dynamic and you're afraid to lose her so you stay in the dynamic and you live a secret separate life so i'm going to tell you why by design this is not just destroying your relationship gentlemen it's also destroying you because when you as a man cannot be authentic in your love affair, in your love relationship, you will find yourself constantly hiding and lying. And your woman will feel the deception every time. And it will cause your woman to therefore start to want to investigate what is really going on. And then... Here it comes, all the head, headache, all the drama, all the back and forth. And you are at the point and at the brink of just really being done with it all. Whereas the issue is when you don't live in your truth as a man and you're trying to fit in a confine that you it's not fitting for you. You therefore have conflict outside of you. And a lot of you gentlemen are dealing with this. Um, I feel, just to tell you, because as I'm coaching men, I get it. I get that you, are, you want this woman, you love her, you adore her, you feel really um, proud to have her in your life. However, <laughs> you are in the dynamic but it's not really you on the inside. 
And so the double life, the affairs, the lies, the cheating, and all of that that goes with it is because of the fact that you are not in a, a, a relationship that is cultivating you and cultivating her. The biggest issue that I have, because I don't promote any style of relationships, I, did, I, I am big about functionality. So for me, I can care less what style of relationship you're in. I always ask my clients, because that's not my business, I'm not sleeping with you or her or whomever. So my biggest question that I often ask is, is this relationship functional? Is it functioning in a proper way, in a good space? Is it harmonious? Or is it chaotic, dramatic, traumatic? And if that's the case, then the dynamic you're in with this person isn't working. But first off, when you're in a relationship like this, it's, the, it's in that dynamic because you're not honest with self. And men have been clawing to be in these solid relationships and just holding themselves to this high regard that they know isn't even naturally who they are. So men, I strongly suggest for my guys that are struggling with this is you have to first learn, is this what I want or not? Is this what I want in my relationship, in my world? Do I want this relationship? Because I'm finding many, many, many of my clients are really, truly struggling with, mm, I don't know if I'm really fulfilled here. And so this is why I say it's very important and vital, vital to be sure that you're wanting and receiving what you want and your relationship is in alignment with who you are. See, I always talk about the, prior, the, the real truth of the matter is I'm always talking about how important it is to love yourself. That you can't skip. I don't care what relationship style you're in. You can't skip loving you, honey. Even once you get the love of your life, you still have to love on you. And that also means in being in love with self, you have to be honest with self. So the hardest part that I'm seeing in these love relationships is that gentlemen are trying to squeeze into a relationship they don't fit in. And then they come to me because they got all the chaos, all the drama, you know, their woman's doing this and doing that. He can't go to sleep without her being in his phone and he's really tired of it and he doesn't understand what her energy is that her energy is so out of whack. And I told him, I said, listen, and I tell them, not just one, but many of the men I coach, tell them all the time, are you in your truth? I mean, really, are you in your authentic self in this relationship you're in? And I usually get silence when I ask that question because <laughs> unfortunately in our community, we're taught that there's only one way to have a loving relationship. You can't have a relationship any other way. It has to be this way or no way. Um, and if you don't stay in the confines of the relationship being in this way, then you're, you're wronged for it or looked down upon or judged, whatever. Just a lot of things that goes with that. I don't care about any of that. <laughs> That's not my business, nor is that my concern. My concern for men that I coach is that if you are in a confine or in a relationship where you are not truly being you, you're losing you in the process. And in that loss, you're also losing your partner and your peace. <laughs> you're not going to have any peace when you're not true and, and walking in your authentic self. You're not. I'm sorry to be the messenger of bad news. But as long as you stay rooted in something that you're not aligned with, yeah, you're going to continue to have conflict, drama, headache, and no peace. See, the whole point of having a social life and a social relationship, or many, whatever, however you roll them, is to be more at peace. Your relationships, gentlemen, should be your... Um, should be a place where you can lay your head at. 
should be a place where you can feel at peace at. It should be a place where you can be you, all of you. And a lot of times that I'm talking to gentlemen that I'm coaching, I'm seeing where they're not really themselves. They present themselves to their lady to be this, but then behind closed doors when they're hollering at their boys or they're talking to their confidants, they're miserable because I just can't, you know, she wants this and she wants that and it's just not me. And so when these hap these things, types of things happen, I try to advise them, well, until you get centered in your truth with you, you really cannot advise or, or, or advance your love affair to be to a new fullness because you're not even yourself. You're, you're only living like this in front of her. So you're only being this one dimensional. You're not showing all your dimensions. And so this woman's fell in love with a one dimensional self. And many of my clients that are men, they're struggling with this. They're struggling with this, man. They don't know what to do. They're like, I don't know how to, how to fix this. Hey, Malik. And I tell them, you've got to go to your truth, to the core of who you are, to your core of your being. You now have to sit down and get centered about who you are. Because there's no reason, I'm going to keep it a buck, there is absolutely, positively, unequivocally no reason that in your love affair, you're constantly arguing, bickering, complaining, going back and forth. There's no peace there. You can't even stomach each other. The only time you're cool with each other is when you're sexing each other. Other than that, there's no peace in the relationship. And then you are one way and she's another. And then you both are just not really in sync. You're not in alignment. And you wonder why the relationship is in a shambles. That's why. You're not owning your, suit, your, your truth, nor are you owning that you're only showing her one side of a five-dimensional man. And, a, and a, a woman is easy to fall, especially when the sex is good. A woman is easy to fall in love with that one dimension and be fine until the other two, three, four, five, six other dimensions surface. And now she's like, well, who, who is this side of you? I mean, what is this about? Why are you? What's going on? I'm, I'm confused. I didn't know this about you. Well, when you're not in your truth, gentlemen, this is why you have toxicity. This is why you have aggravation and no peace. And when you're getting upset because you're like, I can't do this anymore. I'm so done. I can't. That's why. And let me tell you something. Even if you leave the lady you're with right now and you don't center your soul to be in its truth, you're going to get another one just like her. Just a different name, different birth date. And then you're going to be right back there with the toxicity and back and forth and arguing and, and, and dysfunction. And you're going to wonder, what happened? How did I get here? Why am I so frustrated? You're frustrated because... At one point or another, there's a part of you that is hesitant to expose these other dimensions because of the upbringing you may have had or the ridicule or the judgment. But the best life is to be the most authentic you, period. I don't care what anybody tells you. To be the most authentic self is the best life you can have. And then if you do have a partner or partners that you decide that you're going to connect with and be in a relationship with, you can be all of you in all of your dimensions and you can expose those dimensions to her and she can then decide, well, yes, I can resonate with you. I can be with you regardless of how many dimensions you show me. At this point, I don't care about the dimensions. I care about the you. And when you have something like that, and, and, and what I mean by something, but when you have a care like that, it, it definitely makes for you to feel more at what? At peace. See, men, your biggest issue is you want peace in your relationship. Period. But first, the peace has to come from you finding the inner peace in you. And that inner peace in you has to resonate with the woman or women that you are involved with. 
If you are all over the place inside because you don't, you want to hide and hold back certain sides of you and you don't want to show that side, you only want to show this side and then people get all excited over this side and you got a bunch of other sides. It's, this is why relationships falter because like I said, men, please be, please be your authentic you. Because when you're not, when you're trying to mold and shape yourself into a dimension that you have to uphold and not become the whole authentic self, you're going to find yourself constantly in a fight. And this is why, my love, you are fighting with all of your lovers or with the lover you're in a relationship with. Because you are fighting in here to be your authentic self. If, if you need help with this, please, by all means, inbox me. Make sure you guys share this video because somebody out there is dealing with this. Like I said, I talked, I tapped a little bit on the ladies living in fantasy and not being present. And being present is key to making sure you're living in a re realistic love affair. Not living based upon what you think it's going to become in your mind. You got to be present. You got to be right here, right now, paying attention to what you have, not based upon what's up here. Because when we're up here in the mind and all excited over this, our, our lover will never match up to our image. And men, you got to be true, true to you, true to self and stand in it and be who you are 100%. And being that will help you to have more functional, warm, loving, peaceful relationships. If you need a coach, call me 844-5-WISDOM extension zero toll free. Or you can even text that number 844-594-7366. You can text that number. Hey, hey coach, I need you. <laughs> and I can tell you right now I have a really good wisdom subscription going on and the wisdom subscription is just a hundred bucks every two weeks to cover your ment mental health. You get courses, all kinds of stuff. We work together and we are a team to get you to where you want to be. Again, if you're ready to do the work, because I'm a G when it comes to doing the work, are you doing the work? Are you doing as I tell you and express to you the importance of having done? If you're doing that, you're going to get results and positive ones, um, especially when it comes to this love thing, because we first have to love self in order to have a love outside of self. This part starts first. I see a lot of people on their knees praying for a lover, but they're not loving self and wondering why they're not getting the love they want. I'm just saying. So inbox me or call me 844-5-WISDOM uh, and also go over to my to my coaching page. It's Carla Nicole Wisdom Coaching Services. You can see all of the pricing and everything there. Um, there's plenty. There's plenty that I have as a resource for you to take advantage of. But you first got to reach out to me. I'm just saying. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Tonight I will be on with, with Coach Shelsey. We're going to be talking about um, the root chakra and sex and health. So please be sure to watch. We will be right here on Facebook Live, her and I together. So I hope to see you there. All right, guys, make sure to share this video. All right, I'm out of here. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Bye, guys. See you later.